Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Remnants of Angmar campaign. This is the fourth episode and today we are going to continue the push against the Northern Dundine. Uh, last episode we took out the realm of the Imladris uh, cap main capital, uh, Imladris. And we also took out Fenas Dunin, which is the capital of the Northern Dunedain. Uh, and today we are besieging Cometh Bryn, which is the last settlement that the, the realm of Imladris has. Uh, so this is quite interesting. Uh, we might see the realm of Imladris uh, gone by the day. We're not going to... Oh yeah, it's a pride, sure. Uh, so it looks like the Dunedain are heading their way back. Which is excellent. We are going to be able to reinforce uh, Fenastrunin. Let's just see. Relations with Mordor is better. That's awesome. Now, it's only one turn left, but these guys are incredibly, incredibly strong. We might even want some more guys to assist in this battle. Would these guys actually assist? They might. Uh, but I think we should be able to to hand them. We are getting these wargs up here as well. So let's just have them as reinforcements. Yeah, they will be useful. Okay, so we need reinforcements down here. We are already sending a lot. These guys are as well coming down. Doesn't look like they're still threatening us. Sorry. And uh, Erdluin haven't even expanded into the rebel expansion yet so we are doing very fine let's just send these guys down as well we need the units to just keep pushing we'll probably go for this fort i suppose some more halt uh, could perhaps yeah we already have lord skilled up here i guess more halt as well could be sent uh, down to the forts just to maintain the pressure up here now drango you're not going to attack over there i'm going to spend you as a lone general uh, these guys are going to go down to fenestrunin i think we're just going to defend fenestrunin for now we're just going to let these reinforcements come over here next turn and we'll start pushing out when we have all of these guys uh, we definitely do want more troops and we are of course getting more, which is nice. Let's actually push out one more. Now, I'm very happy because we just uh, got our first uh, patron. Uh, thank you very much um, Sam Barker. Uh, it's very much appreciated. It keeps me motivated and I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Now, we should probably save up money for the mines now. We haven't even started building any mines, uh, even though these crop rotations are also very much worth it. I think I'm going to save up for some mines now, uh, but I definitely want the troops here to just keep pushing. Um, so let's send these guys south as well. I think we are going to be able to handle this battle, even though these units are more than enough to deal with these guys. We do have the wargs now as well. I think we're going to be successful, but it will be an, a hard battle. I'm not kidding. Like they are just so overpowered. Uh, I guess Drango could just build a tower here, um, and he will lead a new army against the Northern Dundine. Let's just make him so that he is not in within range. Uh, and then Hun Won can just hold Fenas Drunin. I think that's going to be the plan. My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. Let's just get more troops. Uh, we're going to focus on troops instead of the mind, to be honest. My Lord. I'm going to wait a bit with these guys. We'll have just barely enough money to... Um, to build the mines next turn. And a lot of exciting things have... Oh wow. This is not good at all. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to let these guys um, retreat in in the battle. So I'm going to play it and then retreat. 
uh, I will see you right after battle. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to face them on the battle, then just let these guys retreat. And if we are lucky, they will actually escape, which would be very useful. So we'll ha just have to see. There we go. I think that's our first defeat, actually. Even though it's not really counted as a defeat, to be honest. But some exciting things have happened in the Divide and Conquer community. Uh, Imladris and Lindon is now getting united in the next version. Which means it's going to be hell of the, hell of an interesting faction to play. Um, a large high elven faction. Uh, and it looks like it worked out. That's excellent. Even though these guys are going to bother us now. Jesus. That's really unlucky. Now we can't escape, I think. Yeah, we can't. Even though... Let's try to... I think auto-resolving this is probably the way to go. Actually, no, we're going to fight this battle. Uh, I think we're going to be able to handle them quite all right. Uh, I will just play this off camera and I'll be right back. We were successful and uh, not really a surprise, but I'm glad I didn't auto-resolve it. I don't know why I wanted to auto-resolve it initially, but I'm glad I didn't. So there we go. And now we were talking about the new change for Imladris and Linden. So they're going to become one large faction, which I think is very interesting. It will definitely allow the player to play a faction which is more unique, uh, because you can play two different locations in Middle-earth. And just imagine a Total War, in a Total War sub mod, you can, you can crush um, factions from two sides, it's kind of cool. That was very nice. Now we do have a lot stronger army now, and we might just want to head straight for Ostsul, I believe it is. Oh, they are rising up. Oh, yeah. Uh, we might even get the goblins to reinforce here. Uh, no, we will not. Okay, this is going to be a hard battle, uh, no doubt about it. We'll have to try to surround these guys, but these guys are elder in the nobles. They are very strong, and Lord Master uh, Eladan has the Noldorin Guard, which is basically the best bodyguard unit in the game, uh, save for the Mumma Kill. Now we do have some cavalry, which is definitely going to help us. But I honestly don't know if we're going to win this battle. We might even have to retreat the uh, Agendar, but uh, we'll see. I'll see you on the battlefield. Here you see the range, they are already targeting the Temple Wards. Uh, these Noldorin Guard are just monsters. Uh, but I just really want the Elder Inver Nobles to be all alone. Uh, the Noldorin Guard and the Elder Inver Nobles in battle together is just so devastating. Uh, yeah, definitely devastating. Now we're just going to charge the Elder Inver Nobles and just completely surround them. That's going to be our plan. It looks like Agendar is going to take a lot of hits. We want to just stretch him out and perhaps make the Wargs just engage. Um, the Noldorin Guard. Actually, this formation is kind of good for this situation. It makes these guys a lot more... Um, um, or they will survive a lot longer. Now you guys are just going to charge straight into them. You guys might even want to... Yeah, you probably need it over here, to be honest. You just see how uh, fast these guys are getting shredded. Now we're sending up the Wargs, and they will try to interrupt the Noldorin Guard a little bit. You see, they've already dropped, like... All of these guys, it's yeah, it's devastating. These guys are dropping, but you will see that they will make like an impact on all the units. Let's send these guys uh, a bit more like his here. I really want to save Angendar for as long as I can. He will get a blob to shoot over here, but <sighs> these guys are just so dangerous. Now it's not long until the wards are here. Yeah, they're still sending arrows over here. However, now we're at least kind of stretched out. But these guys will get a lot of kills on the temple wards. Uh, simply because uh, they don't have shields. Let's hope we can get a proper charge over here. 
how are these guys performing? They are losing. That's very nice. Um, now let's see how these guys do. That was not a charge at all. Just retreat as quickly as you can. These guys are going to slaughter our wargs. No doubt about it. But uh, guys, I have a question for you. Um, like, we have pretty... Like, I upload almost every day. Uh, and I think that's uh, nice, but... Please give me some feedback if you want me to upload a little bit less, because you guys might not be able to uh, like watch all my videos just because I upload so much. Uh, so would you like me to upload a little bit less? That's kind of up to you, but I'm just going to ask you the question. Now let's see what... yeah, they have a lot of armor. How are these guys doing? Yeah, they are falling apart. That's very nice. I don't think these arrows are going to be any effective. Let's just charge them and just keep them occupied. That's going to be the task of the wargs. And Eladan is already kind of blooded. Or not yet, but he will be not too long. I think we could send in Agendar over here though and help. But I kind of want to just surround the Noldoran God with the units we have here. But they have only lost half the number so far. They, yeah, it's it's a close battle. And these guys have still not lost a single single elf. There he goes, finally. That just comes to prove how strong these Noldorian guard are. If you're playing as Imladris, you really just want to use these guys as much as you can. If you make an army with Eladan, Elrohir and Elrond, it's not going to be a hard uh, it's not going to be a hard challenge at all. They're just so strong. There we go, that should make some else die at least. Not really. Alright, you guys are just going to stay here for the meantime. Uh, you guys could probably start hitting uh, the Noldoran guard at this point. But I'm not kidding, if these guys had attacked together, we wouldn't have won the battle. I'm pretty sure, to be honest. You just look at them, like, this normal charge usually can bring down a whole unit of bandits. But against these guys, they don't even lose a single elf. They're just, they're very powerful. Now, stay over there. You guys go up here, and you hit these guys. You just keep them occupied for the meantime. And you go into this formation. It is going to oh Jesus! They're targeting Agendar now. Let's uh, let's uh, use Agendar in this battle. Haven't even seen the light. There we go, nice charge. The wargs are <laughs> getting utterly slaughtered. Finally, now we are attacking them properly. Uh, I'm still going to wait a little bit with Agendar. We really want to use these units if we possibly can. Jesus, there's still 12 elves. You just see how powerful they are, even when they're surrounded like this. Okay, now we hit. And let's use our ability. We're going to use our wargs up here and just try to shoot them in the back as much as we can. These guys will slaughter the temple wards though. Even the temple wards are no match for the Noldoring Guard. But they are at least surrounded from all sides now. You just start shooting these guys. Let's look at the standard general. There you see. He's quite bloodied up. There we go. That's some hits we want. Agendar is not doing too bad at the moment. How many are there of the elves are still here? Nine elves still. This general is just slaughtering. It looks exactly like uh, the other generals, to be honest. I just really hope that these guys can do this on their own. Uh, let's send one unit over here, though. We really want to surround these guys as much as we can. They're the main threat. And one of these units should be able to deal with six elves, I hope. But to be honest, I don't know. They should stun lock them, though. That, the, that happens when you just have too many units against a very small unit. Yeah, they are going down. I think we're going to win this battle. Just really don't want to lose Agendar. Uh, where is he? He is safe over here at the moment. 
And this will be Imrad is completely gone. Then we can focus all our attention on the Northern Dundan, which is very nice. I'll just run here and just completely surround them. That's going to be the plan. Agindari is in a fight now, but he will sell. Now let's just try to capture this place actually with the wargs. That should probably work if we don't, uh, if we don't succeed in uh, taking out uh, the Moldoran guard. Yeah, just look at the conscripts. They have been completely devastated. The Noldorin guard are still very healthy as well. Yeah, this doesn't look promising at the current, uh, at the moment. Agendar himself is fighting for his life, but he is getting, he's getting assist, assist. That's nice. These guys are down to two elves now. Yeah, we should be able to pull this off, and the timer will help us if we do not. Agendar is uh, not blooded up yet, so that's fine. But soon, only the temple wards remains over there. We might want to send these guys over. <laughs> Jesus. And there, Lord Master Eladan is down. The line of Elrond is gone. These guys have slaughtered the other general as well. I thought Eladan was the one over here. That's very weird actually. That might be a bug because this is of course Eladan. I don't know what that is. Let's get a proper... Let's just run them through and then just hit them. The timer will go out soon. They're still very healthy. Just proves how strong this unit is. We've lost 79%. We'll bring them down though. Now they got completely surrounded and it's now only down to two guys left. Alright. And Agendar himself is fighting the banner carrier. Slaughter the banner carrier by himself, that's awesome. And let's just end the battle there. That's beautiful. I'm really glad that we won that battle. It could easily have been a defeat. I hope you guys have watched the lore video um, about the Second Age and Eregion and Sauron. I think it worked out really well and I spent a lot of time on it. So if you haven't watched it already, just take a peek. I think it's nice. And I'm definitely going to follow up that uh, lore series. Uh, yeah. And there Kamath Brin goes. Let's just sack it. Oh, 1000 more turn. That's very good. And Imladris is completely gone. This is just excellent news. Our income is going to get a very huge boost. And we can now focus all our attention on uh, the Northern Dune line. It looks like our regions just got a lot of more money because of Kamath Brin. Uh, let's get the Orc Pit. Oh wow, we're making solid money now, guys. This is really good. Oh yeah, and we're getting troops as well. Imrad is ruined. I like this picture. Like cuts on the body of Ara itself, the trees along the wooded dells of Imladris bear the wounds of war. Oh, we got... Uh, yeah, there they go. They're done for. Let's just uh, place our units on the bridge, to be honest. Django, you're going to lead this army. It's still quite battered though, and we know that there is another army around here somewhere. We want to be a bit careful still. Let's try to see if we can find it. And these guys actually get free upkeep here. Oh, the culture is quite good. Let's get the shrine here, and we'll definitely retrain this after a while. Now let's get Agendar up and going. Can definitely build a tower over here. Okay, let's get some more there. Afanas here, you'll just go down to this fort. And Morholt, you will go to this fort. You guys are keeping on going downwards. And you as well, just go down. 
Now let's uh, let's get some mines. Even though this place could probably yeah we're getting this one here. Let's get the mines here. Nice. All right. Let's get all of these guys south. As you wish, I will only address you in an order. Now we're just going to head straight for Thirduin. And we're still just building shit over here. Okay. We have some really good buildings here as well. Nice. Okay. Let's get the building, the meeting hall over here. And so that we can recruit units after a while. Oh, these mines are actually much more profitable. Let's go for those instead. They give us 350. So we're going to go for them instead. And then I suppose in Shadun we could wait a little bit and instead go for something in Parkeleg, perhaps. Or Nakwar Glow, we're already building shit there. Yeah, still haven't even. The Dwarves of Erdlun has been so idle. It's very weird. We have, yeah, two units free upkeep. Let's just get another one. And let's get. Nah, let's just save the money. We can get the leather worker in Kandum though, because it's our main recruitment center. That's a nice usage of our money. Yeah, our allies is just straight beside us, okay. I think that's all for this turn, to be honest. Now we can easily hold the Northern Dune down at this, at this bridge, but we don't have a lot of units uh, north, and the Northern Dune line could easily hit us, but in return we will be able to hit them quite much as well. But now the extin extinction of the Northern Dune Line should start. Uh, that's definitely the plan. Then just plague into... Let's get the Deadman Stike so that we can get the Witch King. That will be very useful. He probably comes with... Oh, Gobedrion. Where's Gobedrion? Oh, it's still in Rebel. We're going to wait a bit with it. And so... Fenas Drunian, let's get the shrine already. I mean the temple. New family member. We need to get a lot of more money now. Because these guys are in the forts. This unit is just going to be a scout for the meantime. Theodwin, we can take this turn. No worries. That's going to be a nice addition. Agendara, you can go towards Fenastrunin yes. for now. I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. We can now soon recruit units here. Will be very useful. Okay, and these I guys as well. Send them down. Should probably merge a couple of these units. Now I'm tempted to go for the shrine here just to get um, some more population growth and be able to upgrade this place. Barkeleg, send down these units as well. We're still making solid money even with all these troops and we haven't even got them into battle yet. It's going to be very nice. Now let's take up Thirduin. I'm like the kind. We're just going to be able to completely surround them with our trash. I'm not going to take the arch battle though. We do have, yeah, we do have the hillmen to just take them out. All right, I will see you on the battlefield. All right, we're sending in the bait. Uh, Jungle was not supposed to be the bait, but he might have become the bait. But he is going to charge the Cardland Sentinels. The Rudar Savages and the hillmen are going to be the other kind of bait we got over here. All right, uh, Jungle, you gotta, you gotta charge them now. You guys as well, you're going to stand over here and just hit all the main line. Django will survive, so we can use him efficiently. 
This was not a charge at all though. This is very poor. These guys will be able to silence these guys though. Now it's time to just rush in all we got. And there we go, that's a nice charge. Now Drango, let's get another charge over here. And you guys are, yeah, you're incoming now. Very excellent. Let the Hillman stream into the lands of the Dunedain. Now that's a nice charge. And that's also a nice charge. That's the charges we want. That's good, very good. Let's just, we're just going to let this unit hold here and let Drangu make the charges. Alright, and these guys are fighting bravely. Uh, we will be able to surround them now though. Let's just bring these guys as far as we can. Look at this charge. That's so nice. Drango is such an overpowered general. I love it. They have lost half their men. And we just need to get up the experience on this guy because he will just become better and better. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Now another charge. The Mount Graham Raiders. Just look at this charge animation. There we go, that's the one. Then you see it's going to be a nice charge. These guys are completely devastated. And let's see, yeah, these guys are now doing very fine as well. Guess it's time to just send in what we got. And let's just not spend the entire video of this either. Okay, you guys are not going to engage the... There we go. And we're just going to have to wait a little bit. These guys are just going to get sh completely shredded now. And I was mistaken, of course, this was an Ossul. This um, was indeed the other city, which I don't remember the name of on top of my head. Ossul is a bit more to the west, I believe. Yeah, this is Thirduin, and we are headed for Ossul, where they have... Um, Amon Sul. It's only the general left. This is stupid. I really want to get uh, Aragorn down. I believe we haven't taken him, taken him down. Or I might be mistaken. I, at least I don't remember it. Now, it's not that long until the barracks event, I think. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to using some snow trolls. I've never used them in a campaign before. It's going to be interesting to see how they perform. We're also get, going to get um, a very nice cavalry unit, the North Guard, I believe. Uh, no, I don't remember the name, to be honest. Now, Thildin is ours. Let's occupy. Let's just build a little watchtower. Can't construct it right there. Yeah, okay. Here is Amonsul. So Ossul is up there. I don't know who we bother over here. We're going to take a look at it as soon as we can move Drango properly. Yes. Is that what you want? An order. Yeah, they, they will be fine for the meantime. And that was probably all for this turn. Angmarim Spy. We have been completely idle with him. That's very stupid. Could have used him much better. However, we haven't been um, punished. Okay, it's just 31st turn. Alright, it's still a while until the backs went. We've just taken so much land already. This campaign haven't really been that difficult as I thought it would. But I guess uh, it's because Imladis is just so idle and they they have wealthy provinces, so when you bring them down, uh, you're just going to have a very solid economy. And if you just manage your troops um, properly, 
It's going to be all right. The Orcs of Gundabad, what have you come for, my friends? We have Trade rights, of course. We shall another course of wisdom to share. Let's I just inform you. Yeah, sure. Let's just get some map info. It's always useful. Wow. Why are we so far to the north now? Oh, Witch King's Hall. I do not know what this does, but it's definitely good. And we got it in Litash, which is a nice region to get it in. Let's see what it gives us. Experience bonus and experience bonus global effect. Okay, that's that's nice. Looks of Gundabad. Relations improved. They only hold Barsakal and Mount Gundabad. They haven't really taken over anything. Okay, in Imladris we now finally got the temple. That we already have free upkeep. We can't really upgrade this place anyways, it's not really... We could go for... Yeah, let's just wait, or actually... Town guard would be useful down here. To be able to push out units over here. Yeah, that's nice. Now let's use our spy, which is over here. Asul, there we have Aragorn. With a very strong host indeed. And there is another army, which we really want to avoid. So let's send these guys down here. Agendaur. And just stay here for now. Drango, you're going to build a couple of watchtowers. And these lands aren't even taken. Seloniac isn't even... Oh, wow. Oh, we're going to be able to capture that very easily as well. Uh, and uh, and we bought the Orcs of the Misty Mountains here. This just looks like a very easy situation. Uh, where's the other guys? Okay, they're coming. That is all there is. It would have been catastrophal if the orcs of the Misty Mountains just decided to backstab us now. We gotta get rid of these guys, they're going to get slaughtered. Okay, so Ossul is completely surrounded by us on all sides. And then we can just head into the west. Breland is not far off though. I think it's time to start pushing from other sides as well. And now we just sent all our... We still have a lot skilled here. Uh, not yet. It's very long until we can get the power whites. Let's get a solid infantry. Not, at least they're a bit better than what we can currently field. Yeah, I think we'll just have to wait for these troops to be honest. And Drango can just keep on building some towers in the meantime. Uh, if Argon heads out, he's going to be able to take out this force, but we can, we do have the time to retreat them in time. We do have more reinforcements coming in as well. Can recruit wargs? Yeah, definitely want to do that next turn. Let's get them instead of this guy, to be honest. Right, nice. Let's end another turn. If we don't have trade rights with uh, the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, I mean the Goblins of Moria, we should probably set it up. Could probably get a lot of it more income. Oh, this is a stupid diplomat. Very annoying. I'm very much looking forward to the next episode in the Isengard campaign. Like, if we are succeeding in... Uh, getting the ring it is just going to be so interesting. We're going to slaughter Mordor. Even though we're already slaughtering them, we could potentially head out in all directions and just slaughter whatever comes in our path. Lauren under attack, that's just wonderful. Now, he still just holds this. It's a village, so we can potentially attack them. 
And they got a lot of archers as well, but this is a very strong force though. So we'll definitely need a whole army for... We're just going to uh, merge these two. And a Fantasy could probably lead them as well. But we do have the, enough generals down here to be honest. Okay, let's merge a couple of units and just see how things are. Yeah, they're going to be mad. As you command, nothing shall escape your notice in these lands. Yes, an order. Come and get me. Orders. Yes, my lord. An order. Orders. Your will. We just leave these guys. Yeah, they're going to be fine actually. And then we're just going to wait for these guys, we'll, which will eventually come down. And the Bree line is over here, it looks like. Yeah. Let's just see what they got. Bree is a very wealthy province. But that's pretty far into the land. But we definitely do want to get the Deadman's Dyke and Faunus and such. I mean Deadman's Dyke and Anuminas. And it just doesn't look... It looks like there's Osu. And that's it. Nundundan is really... They're weak. Very weak. Alright, here we are definitely having the culture we need. Uh, and we can recruit some wargs. Let's get them. And let's get some communal... Actually, let's get the Temple of Melkor. Mm, I'm a bit unsure. I guess... This will give us even more population bonus as well, so why not? Actually, we were going to save up for the mines. Let's stick to our plan, shall we? <laughs> Let's get uh, mines in all provinces now. Let's just focus on it. Okay. We could probably use another general. I really want to see this general as well. Which knights? We haven't really seen them yet. Father and son is going to go together let's see yeah however we can't have more than one general in an army we're going to stay to that promise okay Kamath brain however we really want the culture to go up here as well we're going to wait a bit with the mines we'll stick to the plan now we have taken a very large chunk of Eridor already Now, here's finally the Arid Wind Dwarves. Let's see what they are going for. Oh, it's just another. <sighs> this is stupid. Let's see what this turn brings us. The Northern do not have been just way too passive. And if the Remnants of Angmar campaign used to be hard, I wouldn't say it really is anymore. The Goblins of Moria should be able to expand very heavily into the Vale of Anduin. They just have all these troops gathered around our land. If they were to attack it would be very bad. Okay, you guys are now headed down. They hold this region of course. Now let's just head straight back and see. Still got the same garrison here. Yeah, we are going to be able to just uh, stack up our, all of our units. Yes. Orders. An order. Let's just gather them yes. together over here. And in the meantime, yes. Drango, I suppose, An order. you can stay there for the meantime. Yes. Just stay inside the building. Let's get the shrine here. Um, Okay, and let's go for some mines the next turn. In Shadun we finally got some wargs. And we'll get two more wargs here in the next turn as well. Kamath Brain, Imladis. We're building stuff everywhere. Very, very good. 
blacksmith. I really want to prioritize that, but we can still wait a bit with it. Let's go for the mines. Now, when these two armies combine, should be able to handle this this uh, garrison. It's very strong though. They have a lot of cavalry. But we do have some pikes, and we have Argendaur. We'll have some wargs. Yeah, we can use two armies even. Is that what you want? It's just not really much happening these turns. Let's go for a last turn, I think. I think we have played for a while now. They are retreating more troops to Osul. This campaign has been far easier than I thought. Now, according to the next version, uh, it's going to focus on Imladris and Linden, as I mentioned, but it's also going to uh, focus on the reunited kingdom, uh, which is going to be very interesting. You can reunite uh, Gondor and the Northern Dundan. Just think about that campaign. It's going to be so, so wonderful. And I love playing as Gondor, so I'm just going to love it. Okay, so in this army, we could probably merge these pikemen. Yeah, we, we still want these pikemen. These guys comes finally with some armor upgrades. And we do got some nice units here as well. Agendar is now reaching for us too, but they have almost a full garrison there now. We're not going to be able to take out that army. Yes, my lord. As you wish. We're just going to keep these two armies together. We'll see what will happen. Your will. Yes. We're going to use Drango as well. Now, now we can finally build the mines. There we go. Two mines. That's wonderful. That's going to be what we wanted. Yes. We can go no further today. By your command. Get ready. Yes. Still making solid money. Okay, um let's Yeah, we have already spent all of our money. I just gotta check the time. Alright, we'll have time for one more turn. Uh, just going to end this turn. Still nothing happening over here. And I don't really want to take out uh, the rebel settlements either, because we're just safe from uh, the dwarves of Eredluin, which is only very... They are a very strong force. And dwarves are something else than uh, what we have met. Actually, the elves and the Northern Dunan are not bad factions, but they just haven't been able to surround us as they wanted. Now these generals, I mean, um, diplomats will just stay there for the rest of the campaign. That's going to be annoying. I don't know what the goblins are. They're just walking around. Yeah, that's nice. They are probably going for the waves of Anduin now, as we have taken out the Madris. Should probably get a couple of garrison troops in the Madris just in case the goblins would be tempted to attack us. Wow, they really have a full garrison. My lord. Now, I think we could do this. Let's send Afanas here with these conscripts. Just take uh, Amonsul. And then we're just going to see what will happen. Maybe they will sally out. But this force is just... Yeah, they're just too strong for this army. An order. We can surround them, but we will have very much yes. quality units. Yes. An order. Move. Yes. As you command. Move. An order. Yes. Okay, let's see what will happen next turn. If they attack here, 
I think they might be able to divide their force and be very stupid about it. It's after all the AR we're talking about here. You guys will reinforce. We need stronger troops in this army. Now let's get something in Fenastrun in. Our culture is going up quite quickly. A war camp would be useful. I guess the Hillman camp we should go for first off. Getting some mainline infantry down here. We already have enough works. Yeah, we can recruit real units here in one turn. And we do have the culture to recruit them as well. In Moratharf, we really want to go for... Can we... No. Let's wait a little bit with it. Litash, Shadun, Kandum. Let's go for the blacksmith now. We just gotta wait a little bit. Still nothing happened over here. Okay, let's see what the last turn brings us of news. Now, what will the Northern do then? They will, they will not even attack uh, Afanas here. It's just that we don't... Like, this force is not strong enough to take out uh, Azul. And if we leave that settlement behind, they are really going to take out Hilduin and Finasturin and such. But we could, of course, reinforce those places. Or we could go for the battle and see what happens. But they do have Aragorn and they are going to perform very well. I have no doubts about it. We'll have to think this through, through for the next episode. Definitely. Okay, let's just move in the last troops. Also, yeah, they have very many units now. Yes. An order. I'm not tempted to go for the Breland just yet. Well, what will happen if we do it like this, Then Go for uh, Denman Stark and get the Witch King. What will he do then? Yeah, we'll have we we'll just have to see what the enemy does and um, act accordingly. Accordingly, let's get these guys as garrison here now, and let's get the Hillman camp as well. Just want him lad just to be a recruitment or be able to recruit units here as well. Uh, in Kandum, we're already building this. Let's get the witch knights. Want to get another general? Let's just get the culture up, I mean the population. That's a good way to boost it. Let's get the meeting hall here. And that's a nice collection of buildings. That's just rebels. Yeah, still, still so idle over here. It's very weird. But we are going to end the episode right there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even though it was quite eventless. Uh, to be honest, I've been quite disappointed in uh, like how idle the enemy have been in this campaign. Um, in Radris, they are never really uh, that aggressive. That's to be considered. But the Northern Dune Line haven't really been doing anything uh, trying to stop us. It's just been, they've just let us attack them. That's not really that exciting. Or we might just have been very successful in how we attacked them early on. Yeah, they still just left everything. Yeah, we're going to get the Witch King in the next episode, guys. That's going to be lovely. We don't really care about these places as long as we'll... Have a nice ride over here. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, please leave some feedback whether you want me to upload every day or uh, perhaps uh, three or four days a week. Uh, then that way you can catch up easier. But if you enjoy it like it is now, just uh, 
just say so. But please leave feedback feedback on that uh, specific matter. Uh, also, just give me feedback in general. Uh, I really want to grow as much as I can, and I'm enjoying uh, creating content these days. Uh, stay tuned for the Isengard episode uh, tomorrow. It's going to be interesting to see how um, it turns out, considering the ring. And that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next episode.